Welcome to the Aetna Traders Back Office, a place where administrators configure the platform and oversee users and trading accounts. The entire Aetna Trader platform is built on widgets. A widget is a window designed for a specific trading purpose. Just like the platform, the back office is composed of widgets. In this video, we will preview all the widgets designed for administrators. For more detailed information on the back office, please refer to our documentation. Let's begin with the main widget, the back office dashboard. Administrators spend most of their time here, overseeing and managing accounts, orders, and positions. It also serves for configuring the platform, handling margin rules, order routing, risk rules and more. Let's explore the accounts section within the BO dashboard. Here administrators have a comprehensive view of all the trading accounts within the company. These accounts are organized in a list, making it easy to access essential information. In this list, you can find details of each trading account, including its current cash balance, account value, excess, and its status. If there are numerous trading accounts, you can narrow down the list by applying filters. Once you've identified a specific account, you can click on it to dive deeper into its details. Within the detailed account view, you'll discover the account's assets, a breakdown of its orders, and an overview of its positions. Furthermore, you can apply margin rules, commissions, and fees specifically to this account. In the Bound to Subtab, you can see users linked to this account. Let's get back to the account list. When you hover over the account, you'll notice action buttons appear on the right-hand side. The first one is the Edit button, which administrators can use to modify nearly all attributes of the account. The next two buttons are labeled S and O, which enable admins to place stock and options orders. Lastly, administrators can manually add positions to the account using the P button. On Aetna Trader, users can have multiple trading accounts. Furthermore, users have the ability to modify and close their accounts. To open, modify, or close an account, a user needs to submit a request. Administrators can manage these requests using the Account Requests widget. Each request type has its dedicated subtab. Requests are displayed in a list, and administrators can hover over each request to either approve or reject it, edit the request, or view its history. When traders attempt to deposit or withdraw funds to or from their trading accounts, these transactions require approval from an administrator. Administrators oversee fund transfers through the Transfers Management widget. This widget provides an overview of all incoming transfer requests, as well as completed ones. Administrators have access to all the relevant request information and can approve or reject each request. Now let's explore the Orders subtab within the BO Dashboard widget. The Orders subtab offers administrators an efficient way to track and manage all orders within the platform. These orders are organized in a list where you can access information about each order, including its symbol, the user who placed the order, the order side, quantity and its current status. Orders can be filtered allowing administrators to quickly find specific orders. The administrators have full control over every order. If you hover over an order row, action buttons appear on the right, granting administrators the ability to access execution instructions, view order details, edit and update the order, and, if necessary, cancel the order. A crucial feature within the Orders subtab is reporting. Administrators can export all orders into a CSV file and generate blotter reports that include all order requests and statuses. Next is the Positions subtab. This section allows administrators to monitor and oversee all positions within the platform. Similar to orders, positions are presented in a list format, making it easy for administrators to access important information. Within this list, you'll find details for each position, including its clearing account, symbol, creation date, cost basis, quantity, and market value. Moving on to the Margin Rules subtab. This subtab is responsible for configuring buying power and margin rates applied to all trading accounts by default. Administrators can see all existing margin rules, as well as create new rules by clicking the Add button. Margin rules are presented in a list, providing a clear overview of each rule. When hovering over an existing margin rule, action buttons appear. These buttons allow administrators to edit or delete a margin rule. 
Another important tab within the BO dashboard widget is order routing. This tab is responsible for directing orders to specific execution venues based on predefined rules. To set up a new rule, click Add Rule. A pop-up window allows you to configure rules with conditions based on various criteria such as ticker symbols, daily volumes, trading hours, prices, and more. Multiple conditions can be added to create complex order routing schemes. In the Execution Venue drop-down, select the desired execution venue for orders that meet the specified conditions. Aetna Trader comes with a default order validation system to prevent incidents such as accidental million share purchases. Orders that fail validation are either rejected or trigger a warning for the trader during order creation. In addition to the built-in validation rules, administrators can create custom rules in the Risk Rules subtab of the BO dashboard widget. Administrators specify the conditions under which these rules should apply to orders and define the actions to take with such orders. They can either be rejected, sent for review by an administrator, or display a warning to the trader when the order is being created. Accordingly, orders flagged for review by risk rules appear in the BO Order Review widget. Administrators can inspect these orders and either approve or reject them, ensuring that all trading activities conform to the predefined risk management protocols. Furthermore, within the Order Review widget, administrators can set FAT Finger rules under the FAT Fingers subtab. These rules serve a critical purpose, preventing accidental, high-quantity purchases of securities that can deplete a trader's buying power. These rules are safeguards, automatically suspending the placement of unusual or excessively large orders. Moving on to the Commission Setup subtab, here administrators can set platform-wide commissions that apply by default to all accounts. In addition, administrators can configure account-specific commissions within the Accounts subtab, after configuring commissions for securities and trading accounts, it's important to keep track of the commission history applied to individual orders. You can do this in the Commissions Audit tab within the BO Dashboard widget. This tab provides a list of all orders, displaying the commission. It's a valuable resource for maintaining transparency and accountability in commission management. Next subtab is Fees and Credits Requests. Brokers may encounter various scenarios where they have to apply specific fees or provide credits to trading accounts. These fees may include management fees, advisory fees, or other fees relevant to trading activities. Trading accounts can be credited for various reasons, such as fee reversals, promotional credits, rebates, and more. In this tab, administrators can create new fees and credit requests and reject or approve them. Additionally, Administrators can automate fee application and account crediting by creating rules in the Fees and Credit Rules subtab. They simply need to add a new rule, indicate whether it's a fee or credit, specify which accounts the rule applies to, define the amount and schedule the rule to occur once or on a regular basis. In Aetna Trader every operation conducted by traders and back office users is logged and accessible for examination by administrators. Whether you come across a suspicious order or simply need to review specific activities within a defined time frame, you can accomplish this in the Audit widget. This widget provides access to all logged operations and offers filtering and sorting options. These capabilities empower administrators to quickly pinpoint and review the specific operations they are interested in. Administrators need the ability to control which securities can be traded on the platform. To address these needs, we've introduced the BO Securities widget, a tool that lists all available securities. This widget provides details on all securities and empowers administrators to customize security settings. Most importantly, administrators can specify if a security can be traded, allow margin trading, and enable shorting. Moreover, if a security is not present in the system, administrators can add custom securities, ensuring that the platform remains adaptable to various trading needs, Aetna Trader offers a user feedback system, allowing companies to receive, track, and respond to user inquiries and technical issues. When users encounter problems or have questions, they can submit a support ticket. These tickets are saved in our system, and administrators are notified through email or via the BO Support Tickets widget. The widget displays a table listing all existing support tickets, providing an efficient way to stay informed and address user concerns. On Aetna platform, you can create and manage multiple companies, each serving distinct purposes and equipped with unique hostname, branding elements and trading permissions. 
The BO Company's widget serves as your control center for managing companies. Within this widget, you can create new companies and configure existing ones. To add a new company, simply click the Add button. If you want to configure an existing company, hover over it and click the Edit button. The next widget is User Groups. In Aetna Trader a user group is a collection of users who share the same permission settings. A company can have multiple user groups configured for specific purposes. By default each company has a group for all users that new users join upon creation, a group for professional traders, and management groups for administrators, supervisors, and operators. In the User Groups widget you can create new groups and configure existing ones. Group configuration is quite comprehensive. You can configure trading permissions and specify which exchanges are available for users in this group, which charts users can use, which indicators are available on those charts, and which chart time frames should be accessible to the members of this user group. Furthermore, you can configure widgets and widget settings available for group members. Finally, the user groups widget is where you can add or remove users from groups using the users tab. Next in line is the users widget, your control center for managing all the users within a company. Within this widget, administrators have complete control over each user. Administrators can edit a user's profile, obtain an access link to log in on behalf of the user, view the groups the user belongs to, add new accounts for the user, and link existing ones. Furthermore, administrators can configure individual user access to platform features, such as charts and widgets, similar to how it's done in groups. In this overview, we've walked through the core functionalities of the back office. However, this is just the beginning of your journey with Aetna Trader. To delve even deeper into platform management and user administration, we invite you to explore our dedicated broker help documentation. Here, you'll find detailed information on every feature of the platform. Thank you for choosing Aetna Trader. We look forward to supporting your success in the world of trading.